Welcome to the final part of the Spherical Mask Shader Tutorial by Peerplay. In the previous part we've added the emission property to the shader. In this part we will create a C-sharp script that will update the position of the shader to the raycast position of our mouse input. We are going to change the world position, radius and softness to global properties so that every material in the scene that has these specific properties will update automatically. Now in this example I want the floor tiles to be emissive but the walls to have no emission. To be able to do this we need to change the range of our emission strength slider. So the only thing we have to do in our shader is change the range at the emission strength from 1 to 0. So we can turn the emission totally off. Now let's save the script and go back to Unity. Now I took the liberty of creating two different materials, the floor and the wall. For the floor I want to have some emission, so the emission strength is set above 0. And at the wall I want to set the emission strength to 0. So there will be no emission on the wall. Now all these different properties are applied to one specific material. So if I change the sphere radius, you can see that it's applied to the walls, but it's not applied to the floor. We need to make the properties position, radius and softness global so we can set them at once through C Sharp. And to do that we have to remove them from the properties list. So we'll comment them out. And now if we scroll down to the CG program, we need to set the position, radius and softness to uniforms. And this means that in C Sharp we can apply a value to these global properties. And all shaders with these specific names will be adjusted accordingly. So let's make this a uniform float 4 and a uniform half and another uniform half. Now as the name position and radius and softness is very generic we must be sure that there are no other shaders that we don't want to change its position uh, value to this value only the shader that we've built ourselves. So we'll change this name to something less generic so let's call it global mask copy paste this and now we can be pretty sure that there will be no other shaders that have this specific name as a uniform unless we specify it ourselves in a different shader. Now as we change the names here we have to change it here as well so let's change this to global mass position, global mass radius and global mass softness. Now with this set up we can save the shader and go back to unity. Now you won't see the sphere mask anymore because all of the values are back to their defaults and they're all at zero. So the radius and the softness is zero at this point. But don't worry, we're going to make a C sharp script and we're going to change this in the update function. So let's right click, create, go to C sharp script and we're going to call this the raycast mouse boss. So we'll make a simple raycast script that is attached to the camera that sends the hit point to the shader. And let's also add some key bindings for growing and shrinking to the sphere mask radius and softness. So the first thing we obviously need is a camera. So let's say camera, camera, and we'll set in the start function that the camera is going to be the get component of camera. Now as we're doing a raycast, we also need a raycast hit. And we'll call this hit. And we also need a ray, and we'll call this ray. Now as we're ray casting the mouse position, we also need a factor 3, and we'll call this the mouse boss. And we're not going to set our position directly to the mouse ray cast position, but we're going to smooth it. So I'm going to create here a smooth point factor. Now we'll also need some public floats. We need to set the radius, and we need to set the softness. Oh, and the next thing we need is also a smooth speed. Now let's first set up our radius and softness and we will bind this to the arrow keys on the keyboard. So I'll say if input dot get key key code dot up arrow if that's pressed then we'll set the radius plus is when well, we need some skill factor for this so let's say skill factor 
here I'll say the scale factor times the time dot delta time. So every, for example, if we would say the scale factor to one, then in if we hold the key for one second, the radius will increase by one. Now we can copy paste this four times because we've got the radius and the softness and here we want to set it minus and it's just going to be the down arrow and this is going to be the left arrow and the right arrow here we just have to change it to the softness and it's going to be softness as well with the minus instead of a plus now let's also clamp the radius and the softness so we can't go below zero. So I'll say mathf.clamp and we're going to clamp the radius and it's between zero and 100. Let's copy paste this and we'll set this to the softness as well. Now let's do the ray cast. So we'll say ray is going to be the camera dot screen to point ray and this requires a factor 3 so we need to fill in our mouse position so mouse position is going to be a new vector 3 and this is going to be the input dot mouse position dot x and it's going to be the input dot mouse position dot y and it's going to be set at zero. So let's place the mouse bus inside of the camera. Now we'll do the raycast. So if physics dot raycast, and we want to get the ray, and the out is going to be the hit. Now we can set the smooth point. So we'll say that smooth point is going to be a vector three dot move towards and we're going to move towards from our current smooth point towards the hit dot point and we're going to do this with the speed of smooth speed times time dot delta time now we want to set this factor 3 smooth point to the shader factor 4 so we have to cast this to a factor 4 so say factor 4 pause we'll just call it pos is a new vector 4 and we'll say here that smooth point dot x dot y dot c and just again be 0 and now in here we can talk to the shaders global factor so let's say shader dot global factor and which factor do we want to talk to we want to talk to the position so let's go to the shader and copy this let's paste it in there and we want to set this to the pos now every shader that is using the global mask position will be set to the value of pos now outside of the raycast we will set this also to the radius and the softness so we'll say shader dot set global float and we want to set it to radius now copy paste this and make this the softness and we'll change this to softness as well and I've made a little typo here because it's not get global factor but set global factor and we'll save this script and go back to unity now the only thing we have to do is to go to the camera and drag and drop the raycast script onto the camera We'll set some variables. The radius is going to be 4 at start. The softness is going to be 0 0.5. Smooth speed, I'll make that 40. And the scale factor is going to be 2. Now when I run the scene, you can see that both the wall and the floor materials are set to the same position, radius and softness. But the floor material is set to be emissive, while the wall material does not have any emission. This way you can make many different shaders that can all use a sphere mask by only a few lines of code. Now with the arrow keys we can adjust the radius or the softness as you please. 
So this was the final part of the tutorial. I hope you have learned some new cool tricks and know that there are many different ways to customize the shader. If you are a patron on my Patreon, you can download this project including some extra customized shaders to use. These tutorials take a lot of time and effort to create. If you want to support me in making these tutorials available for everyone, become a patron on my Patreon. If you like this tutorial, please hit a thumbs up and if you want to stay updated with new tutorials, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more tutorials.